Goodbye, San Diego, because I'm headed up the coast to San Francisco. I love it. This month is like California month. So I'm going to RSA Security Conference, and I go every single year, and it's a really great chance to see a little bit of San Francisco, but this year I am staying over the weekend to finally see some stuff that I haven't had a chance to see yet. I'm going to bring you as many little bits of coverage as I can over the course of the week, because we're going to be filming for Secure Ninja, but we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff too. Okay, it's Monday and this is cool with John. We're at the Computer History Museum and it's closed, but we have a private curated tour. Uh, we're filming for Secure Ninja. Secure Ninja. Yeah. Yes, I've heard all about you guys. Wonderful. Awesome. This is the Computer History Museum. Computers used to be... Um, <laughs> if you really want a tour of the Computer History Museum, watch the interview I'm about to make for Secure Ninja TV. Because we're going to have the actual curator tell us the real deal on all these computers. Alicia, are you rolling on the, your audio? No. I'm truly having a celebrity moment because I'm at the Computer History Museum all by myself. The place is closed. John just went to get something and, and the curator left. And here I am by myself. <gasps> Look at these things. This stuff is very old. This stuff starts in the, well, it starts in the 1800s, but it quickly progresses to the 50s and then the 60s and just going through uh, different ways they use memory and just different inventions they came up with to make computers what they are today. But then it goes into the Apple One and then the Apple Two and then the internet and there's actually things I remember. Um, from when I was a kid, the first computers I used, obviously the first one I ever used was an Apple. And then PCs kind of took over, but I was never into them. I actually have never personally owned a PC. The very first computer I owned was this one. <laughs> It's the best one. It's interesting because it's made such an impact on my life, on a lot of people's lives. Imagine if we didn't have computers. I mean, I certainly wouldn't be talking to a camera right now with the intentions of posting it on YouTube. Eat, sleep, compute. Today, the fun thing we're gonna do is meet Rami Malik from Mr. Robot. He's the hacker. He plays the hacker anyway. For Secure Ninja, we're going to talk to the CEO of Qualys. They're the ones who brought Rami Malik here. And then hopefully I get to meet Rami. I'm pretty sure I do. VIP style. This place is a madhouse. This really is the ultimate road mic test because there's so much noise here. As a pilot, I hacked, uh, I hacked my therapist. When we shot the pilot, I thought Ashley Madison was the name of a 15-year-old girl he was sleeping with. <laughs> It is now Wednesday and today's highlight is we're leaving San Francisco. We're heading across the bay to Point Richmond to do a little YouTuber collaboration for Secure Ninja TV with another hacker channel called Hack5. We're just going to hang out with them and be on their show and and talk to them about all kinds of hacker stuff. It should be pretty fun. I've never really been to this side of the Bay Area, I guess, so we're gonna check it out. Well, this is the San Francisco Bay Bridge. Very industrial. Look how crappy the old bridge was. <laughs> oh, there's the old bridge. Okay, we're approaching the Hack 5 studio. Arrived. That's so cool they have a studio. Hey, Darren. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Oh, I'm so good. Yay. Oh, we are. Hey! How are you? How are you? We're vlogging. How are you? Oh, you're vlogging. Hi! Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, I just picked up something I ordered and I'm gonna give them to my friends here at Hack 5. I haven't even seen them. This is a big moment for my YouTube channel. I mean, you guys, maybe you remember the moment that Hack 5 first got. I'm really excited. Stickers? Oh! I mean, are these that... MATV stickers? Yes! yes. Nice! Oh, they're we're the first ones to get MATV yes. stickers. I haven't. I physically have not even seen them yet with my own. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, they peel out from them. Yeah. Nice. Wow. I couldn't choose between black and white or white on black and black on white, so I chose white on black. Oh. Those look awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna put it. White on and my black laptop. is the way to go. Awesome. On your laptop, really? Oh, we should yeah. put it on the Hack Five Studio. Oh yeah. So we've got a sticker wall on the Hack Five set. We do. Yes, going on there. Yay. Put it on the set. Thanks, guys. Thanks Aww. for supporting us. 
this is awesome. Thank you. Funnily enough, everything you see around you, uh -huh. as far as Hack5 and our own commerce and us making it on our own independently, uh, right? goes back to selling stickers. Oh, really? You sold stickers? It all stickers? started with just a few stickers. So cool. Joke. So cool. Do you, re so you remember the first moment that you guys had stickers for Hack5? Yes. They were so expensive. Really? Well, <laughs> our house flooded. The house that I bought specifically to build out as a studio so that we could all live upstairs and shoot the show downstairs, right. it was terrible. Right. So we had to gut the whole downstairs. So we looked to the fans and we said, hey, we have all these stickers that we just give away at like conferences like ShmooCon. If you would pitch us like five bucks or more, we will send you stickers and you can help us rebuild the studio. And that led to everything that you see at Hack 5 in the Hack Shop. That's awesome. That's awesome, so that was the beginning of it all. Yeah, fan funding is a good thing. Yes. We might, I might work mm. towards that. I'm sure there's quite a few people My at viewers want to see more in my TV. I know, right? So you think I should sell the stickers? Tell me guys, would you like to buy a sticker? An AMA TV sticker? So Hack 5 has a real studio. They have a TV turned on its side and it's their, their background, which is cool. They have high-tech technology and you know what else they have? Kittens. Kittens are important. Kitties are hackers too. And here's Snubsy. Where is she? <laughs> they put an AMA TV sticker on their, their hacker sticker wall. How cool is that? They're so nice. Darren, you're cool. Thanks. Yeah. Here. Well, why don't you hold that, okay. and we're gonna do a thumbnail while yes. vlogging. We're gonna doing a vlogging thumbnail. It's crazy. There's there's so much. <laughs> there's like podcastception going on. I, okay. Those We've cats. got a cat. There's hacking. Okay. I don't know even where to begin. The cat definitely is filming something for our channel. I can tell. Yo, yo, yo. He is, well, I always want to say Metis Boy Pirate Captain. I am the senior bearer of bad news. For Rapid 7. For Rapid 7. He's one of my favorite hackers. I have many. I have a few. A few. I have like three favorite <laughs> hackers. You're, you might be number one. Right. I'm gunning for you, Charlie. Come for you. <laughs> Charlie's not, Charlie's not one of them. No? I only met Charlie once. I don't know Charlie. I've known but you he for- he sat on your lap. He did sit on my lap, which was awesome. Maybe you'll sit on my lap one day for an interview. Maybe. Okay. Unlikely. Oh, that's you can sit on my lap. You have to think of something original. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I can't just go where do what Charlie did. No. No. We'll think of something. Yeah. Defcon this year. All right. Okay. Yeah. And here we are. It is Friday. RSA is practically over, but today's highlight is the closing keynote. RSA is interesting. They always have a huge keynote speaker, but they never announce it until halfway through the week. So they have announced it, and it is Sean Penn. Um, he recently did that interview with the drug lord El Capo down in Mexico, and I assume that's what we're gonna be talking about. This, this conference is cybersecurity, cryptology, and privacy um, is a big issue, so I don't know what he's gonna be talking about. They'll work it in. One year they had Stephen Colbert, one year they had Tony Blair, um, I usually miss the other ones because by Friday everyone's gone, but I stuck around. It's like a ghost town. Uh, I think everyone's in there already. Of course I'm late and it looks like it's pretty high security, but I've got the press badge, so we should be good. Right? Hi I guess there. everyone's already in there, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I found my boss and my buddy. Are you recording? Yes. Man. High security here today, huh? Hey doggy. Dude, is this like because of the Mexican drug lord situation? Uh-oh. What? Denied. Even with the press badge? Whatever thing, whatever you want to do. With the press badge, I can. You can go inside. You're amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. He said you can do whatever you want to do, which is exactly what I like to be told. <laughs> well, if you get arrested, I'm going to disown you. Okay. It's Friday anyway. You're allowed to disown me. <laughs> You've had uh, an amazing career from an acting perspective. Unbelievable. You hold a very deep American belief about freedom. What does it mean to defend freedom? I think, you know, it comes down to how do you connect your dreams to your own life and to, to, to being able to be surrounded by others that can do the same. What's the most important lesson 
that you teach your children? The cliche, of course, is it's there. They're teaching us the lessons, um, you know, so much. They're the reflection, in some ways, of your own youth. You want to have whatever was good about you passed on uh, and, and have it grow bigger and better from there. Good stuff. Yeah. It's over! And that concludes my coverage of the crazy work week here in San Francisco at RSA Security Conference. I hope you've enjoyed the daily highlights. I think my favorite was probably Tuesday meeting Rami Malek. Um, because he was just so cool. And I only say that because I will see Darren and Shannon from Hack5 again. I'm actually going to see them both this weekend because I'm super excited to be staying here in San Francisco to actually check out the city. This is my fifth RSA and I've never actually just like stuck around to do my own thing. So I'm gonna be doing that this weekend. On Saturday, I'm going with Darren. We're going out into the forest, which is really all I ever wanna do in life, is get out into nature. It is mind blowing to me that I've never been to the Redwoods or seen a Redwood tree, because if you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with trees. I'm always climbing them. I don't think I'll be able to climb any Redwoods. Maybe if there's a little Redwood, but that kind of is not the point of the Redwoods. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. And thank you all so much for your support. The channel has hit some amazing milestones lately. Oh, and the other big news is that I've been invited to attend YouTube Creator Day in Los Angeles. That is March 25th, so that is just in a few weeks. And of course, I'll bring you some coverage from that. I'm gonna attend with John Miller, who's my producer, the producer I work with on Secure Ninja, but he's also a co-producer on AMA TV because he helps me out with so much stuff. He's amazing. I'm not sure exactly what they have uh, in store for us. It's not VidCon. It's very, it's very different from that. It's not a conference. It's just for. Um, creators to go and learn and get better at you know being being youtubers and I really just want like a YouTube t-shirt and to meet some meet some cool people and we'll see what happens I'll definitely keep you posted on that okay guys that's all thanks for watching I love you bye all right. Do you need a knife? I don't think so <laughs> hold on a second get rid of the mint first swallow it get rid of it <laughs> all right.